Dr. Davidson here with Virginia Tech Wrestling Coach Kevin Dresser. This is Night Before Chalk Talk. Tonight we're going to break down number 18, Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh's 0-2 on the season, but lost a close one, 26-13 to Ohio State, who barely beat us two earlier this year. Let's start at the 125 weight class. For Pitt, they have Goodwin Nayami, who was the 59th overall recruit last year. And for Virginia Tech, we have 7th ranked Gerard Garnett, who is just coming off two dominating performances of ranked wrestlers. You know, this is the old versus the young, and, and you're right, Tucker. Um, Gerard is coming off of a great win against University of Virginia, you know, where he majored the fifth or fourth ranked guy in the nation. So to, to, to us and to me, it's more about Gerard's performance. Now, this guy here, Niami, is a, is a really, really highly regarded true freshman. He's really athletic. Um, if I think if Gerard lets him in the match, it could be a match, but I think Gerard's just got to show his fifth-year dominance and, uh, and go out and get things done for us there. But, but this guy could be really good in the future. And then 133, Pitt has a 2012 NCAA qualifier, and very close to being All-American, and currently ranked seventh in the country, Shelton Mack. And for Virginia Tech, we have redshirt sophomore, redshirt junior, Eric Spute, who has to wrestle another tough-ranked opponent. Well, you know, Eric's, Eric's been thrown to the wolves here. You know, he's had... Uh, Ranked guys, I think the last three times out, he had a ranked guy against Ohio State. He had a ranked guy against Virginia, and now he's got a ranked guy against Pitt. And then we get Edinburgh, he's going to get a ranked guy, you know. So he, he's getting, he's got a tough schedule right now, and, and obviously he's he's not wrestling where he wants to be right now. So, you know, he's got to turn it around. This is a tough time to turn it around, but uh, sometimes you got to do tough things. But obviously Pitt's favorite in this one on paper. At 141, Pitt has Travis Schaefer who's one of two sophomores to start for Pittsburgh last year. And then uh, for Virginia Tech, we have 10th-ranked wrestler Zach Nybert, who's wrestling tough as the 10th-ranked rank, kid. Well, I, obviously on paper, we're, we're favored at that match. Um, I know Schaefer's a, a, you know, the thing about these pit guys, these pit guys are really, really good in the mat, and they're good at keeping things close if they're not the favorite. Um, so, you know, I'm sure Schaefer thinks he can win that match. Uh, We've got to go out, and you know we didn't wrestle great against Virginia. Zach Nybert didn't feel good. He didn't wrestle great. He didn't do a good job off the scale. Not that he didn't do a good job with his weight, but I think he might have been a little too light last week. He felt like he was too light. So uh, he's going to tweak a few things and see if he can feel better. But if he feels good, there's no question. You know we're the favorite there, but uh, I think this might be a close match. And then 149, Pitt has 2011 NCAA qualifier and senior Donnie Tasser. And for Virginia Tech, we have 10th ranked wrestler Nick Bruschetta. He's coming off two upsets of two highly ranked wrestlers. Yep, Tucker, you're right. We've got the, that's the hot guy in the hand right now for the Hokies. It's amazing how many phone calls and emails I got just this week on who the heck or where the heck did Nick Bruschetta come from. And you know, just to give everybody a little insight, Nick wrestled for us and, and upset the sixth ranked guy in the nation right out of the shoot at the NCAA tournament. He won the ACC and got outstanding wrestler, but he was hurt almost all last year. So you know. Home fans, especially for our home matches, are just starting to see how good Nick Bruschetta is. And, you know, if Nick keeps consistency, and that's kind of our buzzword this week, Nick could be really, really good. He's at the toughest weight, maybe one of the toughest weights in the nation. I think 65, the first four guys, and then all of the top 10 guys at 49 are really good. But, um, you know, we're favored on paper there. But I can tell you what, Tasher's going to be scrappy. And, you know, we got to go get things going there. If we stand around with him, he's going to give us fits. At 157, Pitt has Troy Regard. And then for Virginia Tech, we have eighth-ranked wrestler Jesse Dong, who's only wrestling his third match of the year. Well, I'm, obviously on paper, we're favored at that weight. I don't know much about Regard at all. I know he's a sophomore. I know he's a, you know grew up in Pennsylvania. You know, Pitt's not going to have a weak guy in the lineup. I'm sure just about all their lineups Pennsylvania guys. And, and, and Pennsylvania is the best. It's not even arguably. It is the best high school wrestling state. So that tells you what kind of you know fight they're going to have in their lineup. They're going to fight as hard. This guy will probably fight as hard. You know, we need to try to go out and get bonus points. I'm sure they're hoping to not get bonus points there, but we need to try and get, get bonus points at 57. And at 165, Pitt has the 11th ranked wrestler Tyler Welps. And for Tech, we have 4th ranked wrestler Pete Yates, who's dominated his last two ranked opponents. Well, Pete beat a, you know, a ranked guy from Ohio State. He beat a, the ninth ranked guy from Virginia. Now he gets another ranked guy. So, uh, you know, Pete's schedule has been as tough as anybody's right now. But, you know, obviously, if you if you've seen Pete wrestle lately, he's wrestling real well. And, uh, you know, we need to go win that match. And, 
you know, Pete's closest match to date, I think, still 7-1, so he's going to want to go out and get after it. At 174, Pitt has Nick Bonacorsi, who registered last year and posted a 23-7 and record. And for Virginia Tech, we have Austin Gable. Both these wrestlers re re wrestled the third-ranked wrestler very closely. Um, you know, this one, you know, might be on paper, might be a toss-up. Uh, I think that we're favored on this, but I'm sure Pitt's looking at this as, as, as a toss-up. But, uh, you know, I really like what Austin Gable's doing and what he's all about right now. And, um, you know, this is a good chance for Austin to get out and continue to, you know, show off a little bit and prove himself. So it's a match we got to win. And at 184, Pitt has the 14th ranked wrestler, Matt Thomaset. And for Virginia Tech, we have Nick Federline. He's coming off a big win of a ranked wrestler. Well, it's funny. <clears throat> at, eight, at 84 heavyweight, the Thomaside brothers from Pitt went to the same high school as Zach Nybert and Nick Bruchette of St. Pa uh, Paris Graham in Ohio. So we're going to have four St. Paris Graham, Ohio guys. Good for you, Jeff Jordan, in, uh, in this dual meet. You know, there's no question on paper we're probably not favored, but we weren't favored last weekend either against Virginia. Nick Nick Vetterline went out and did it, so you know we need to get it done here at 184. And at 197, Pitt has returning All-American and second second ranked wrestler Matt Welps, and then for Virginia Tech we have Wisconsin transfer Derek Forley. Well, there's no question that this weight is probably the weight that this is their best guy. I'm sure they're expecting bonus points at this weight. Uh, we need to go out and compete, and we need to go out and fight. And, and I feel good about Derek Borley the last couple weeks. I mentioned a couple weeks ago that, you know, I didn't feel good about him. I didn't think he was getting the job done for us in the practice room. But the last two weeks, I felt really good about him, Tucker. And I think he's, um, I think he's, he's making progress now. This would be a huge step for him to, to compete with Wolves and, and to try to sneak one in here. But we just need to compete with him and see how good we can do. And at heavyweight, Pitt has two-time national qualifier and ninth-ranked wrestler Zach Thomas at Virginia Tech. We have six-year senior David Moraney. Well, you got, I think, 20 versus 10. There's no question Thomas Ike's favorite at heavyweight. You know, Moroney's probably even more so than Spew. Moroney, I think everybody he's wrestled this year has been ranked in the top 20 with the exception of the Virginia kid. So uh, he's had a, a, a pretty tough November. Um, you know, I, I told the team and I told uh, more – more specifically, David, that the only way to get ranked, highly ranked, is to go beat highly ranked guys. So this is another opportunity for him. So this is what we're, we're hoping for. So. All right, Coach, we're only a couple of weeks into the season, but how has the team stacked up to your expectations so far? Well, we're getting better, Tucker. We're getting better, and I like what I see. It is early. Um, you know, I like, I think our key word that we talked about this week is consistency. We have to get consistency, and so far we've had consistency. We have to be good, even on days that we maybe don't feel so good. And, and some guys overcame some obstacles last week. You know, Nick Bruschetta had strep throat all week last week and came out and got it done. And that's what you got to do if you want to be the best. You got to get it done when you don't feel good. So, you know, we have to go out there no matter how we feel. We get, we still got to be the same team we were against Virginia and continue to prove to everybody that we weren't a flash in the pan against Wisconsin. We weren't a flash in the pan against. Um, against Virginia. We just need to have a consistent weekend and then we get a little time off. So a uh, big weekend for us.